guys, how's it going and welcome to another Gamertech review. Now in this review we're going to be looking at something a little bit different than the usual which I'm quite excited about actually because these things are very handy. Now what these are, these are screen protectors for your iPad Air and they're made by Anchor. Now this comes with two inside and what you do is you peel off a film, you then stick it on your iPad and you peel off another film and then it protects it against scratches and knocks and, and things like that. So it just kind of adds some longevity to your iPad and just kind of makes it look nicer and, and, and things. Now I've been using screen protectors on my iPhone for absolutely ages so when I eventually got my iPad I decided I was going to get something like this just because, well I'm kind of used to it and also I'm a bit, you know, anal in regards to wanting to keep everything nice and non-scratch and stuff like that. Like when there's a device that hasn't got a screen protector on it I'm like, oh god! Like I've got one on my camera screen and everything just in case and nothing's going to scratch it at the minute. Unless a cat goes mental. But I just want to protect it and look after it and make sure that it stays nice and neat and, and yeah. So so that's where these guys have come from. Now it does say that it's got anti-scratch, it's fingerprint reduction, dust reduction, no fading or yellowing, and it has zero adhesive residue. So that is good because you don't actually want a sticker to it. You just want something which attaches, I think it's like a static attachment, something like that. And from past experiences, things like this, especially for phones, are quite tricky to get on. So the fact that this is for an iPad, that's a lot more surface area for me to contain with than putting this on. So I am quite curious to see how neat and how tidy I can eventually get this on the iPad. We'll just have to wait and see. But for now, let's just go straight to the unboxing. And here we have the screen protectors all safely tucked away in their cardboard packaging. So let's just quickly crack it open and see what we have extra inside. It is all kept safely in this flap of cardboard, which is a nice addition because it means that everything's taken care of. So the pack includes two screen protectors. Now I'm guessing it includes two because if you mess up putting one on, then you at least you've got the other one to put in as well. So it's good that it comes with two. And then we also have this little bag here. It comes with contact details so you can let them know if you liked it or if you didn't like it. So it's a nice addition. They want feedback, which is cool. Then we have a little anti-static fiber cloth here, which you use to clean the screen before you put the things on. Two stickers here. We have a dust removal sticker and a screen protector lifting sticker. Oh, okay. So if you put it on and there's dust underneath it, you use this one and you stick this onto the protector to lift it up off the surface. So that's actually quite a cool little addition there. I'm looking forward to using those. We have an instruction manual and we also have a hard plastic scraper. Now this is going to be used to scrape all those pesky air bubbles out when we're fitting it onto our iPad. With that done, everything is unboxed. So let's just see how easy or hard it is to fit it to our iPad and then have a play with it and see how it performs. Now I must admit I was very happy with this screen protector. I think it came with a few extra cool accessories which I haven't really seen before and I think that definitely added to the success of when I put this on my iPad. First of all those two little sticker things that come in there. The one that you stick onto the film to lift it up and the other one that you put in there to catch all the dust. Those are things which I haven't really come across before and those help me make it clean so much it was ridiculous. I stuck it on the first time, realised it was wonky when I got to the end so I peeled it up and then realised that when I peeled it up, it attracted all these magical dust particles in the air and stuck to it and it made it dirty and it was horrible because when I stuck it down there was fluff everywhere and I thought I'd ruined my life. But no, what I did is I got the sticker, I lifted up the, the filmy protectory thing and then I used the other sticker and took out the dust particles that were stuck to both the screen and also the sticky thing as well and it cleared it out. And I was genuinely, like you can see now, I'm genuinely shocked at how well that worked. I did not think it was going to work that well but you know what, it did. And that's awesome. That is really, really cool. So I simply did that all the way around it, getting into the middle, all of the sides, all the edges. It did, you know, I did invest some time into doing it, but the finished result, I can't complain about. Like, it's so neat and tidy. I keep forgetting that it's on there. And I even gave it to people to use for a while, and they didn't even notice there was a screen protector on there. That's how clean and tidy it was. I was oh, it's so good. Also, you saw in the video that it came with a little, like, plastic hard edge thing. Now, you use that to make sure you get a nice, even addition, if that is a word, to the iPad. So it's nice and flat and you can also use that to push out air bubbles and make sure that you get it nice and flat on the iPad surface. And I thought that was a really good extra thing to add in there because it just helps when you're putting it on and making it look really neat. So thank you very much, Anchor. That was a very good addition. Now it does come with two inside there, which I think is quite handy because if you cock up putting the first one on, then at least you've got a second one as a backup. However, halfway through putting my one on, I thought I'd definitely knackered it up. And I hadn't because those little stickery things mean that you can clear it up. So what I would like in there is extra ones of those stickery things. Now it does 
so you can reuse them and just stick them back down and that, and that's, you know, that's great. However, the one that you used to pick up all the dust has just got CAC all completely stuck to it. So if I do ever want to use the second one again in the future, I'm not going to really be able to use those stickers that well because they've already got a lot of CAC attached to it, included with it with one of those cloth cleany things. However, even with iPhone ones in the past, I found that when I wipe with that, even when I do it in straight lines, I still get, you know, a few bits of dust stuck on it at the end. But then I guess that's what the stickers are included for. So you can't really complain too much about it. It worked. The cloth was handy. It made it clean and, and all that jazz. So everything comes together and works together and it's a nice team. Now, if you're looking to pick some of these up for yourself, then this pack will cost you just about £10 on Amazon, which sounds like a lot of money just for screen protectors. However, if you value your iPad not getting scratched, then that is a very fair investment to make. I would more than happily pay that again to get some more if I, you know, get another iPad or something happens to these ones. That's that's fine with me because, you know, for not a huge amount of money, you get that protection. And I think that's very, very important. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this review interesting and you've learned some stuff. And yeah, if you're looking for some iPad protection, then these are your boys, Blue. If you haven't already subscribed, then please do hit that big red subscribe button. It helps me out. And then you can join the Game of family where everything is awesome everything is cool because we're part of a team and i also do a lot of streaming on twitch the link is just below in the description i stream stuff like csgo hearthstone you know stuff like that and it's quite fun i mean look at the rest of the youtube channel there's some little snippets from the stream up there and it's quite cool so yeah check those out come follow me on twitch and come subscribe here on youtube and until the next time i will see you next time stay fresh guys now in order to test this, I ran Battlefield 4 running at 1920 by 1080, so full HD, and had everything on ultra set. Now in this review, I'm going to be taking a look at a power bank by EZAC. Now I have reviewed one of these by EZAC before, which was a 10,000 mAh power bank, but this one is a 15,600 mAh power bank.